How do you uh, address training uh, and adoption of new software in the, the new normal, in the new hybrid uh, mode of working? What we have seen uh, over the past uh, two, three years since, uh, since COVID hit, um, a lot of companies start working remote, now partially back into the office. And, and how does that um, impact the way you train people when you're implementing new software? Um, we still see a lot of customers thinking, uh, okay, we need to do classroom training. Let's do that, uh, that virtually and move it to Teams or to Zoom. Um, but that is just uh, changing the way you deliver training from in-person to in-person in a virtual mode. What we would much more recommend is to just rethink how you do training. Uh, we know people forget 80-90% as soon as they come out of the classroom. When you deliver training over Teams or Zoom, it's even more because we all know uh, in these meetings people are just doing other things and pretend to be there. So nobody really picks up the training. So how can you really rethink the way you train people on new software? What is that uh, learning 3.0 Zero, and this is where digital adoption comes in. So how can you uh, give people the, the support and the training when they need it, when they are in the application? Because this also helps you to become uh, remote uh, or hybrid from uh, a training perspective. You don't need to have a person uh, doing a classroom training or doing a, a virtual meeting. Um, people can get the training when they are in the software. Um, you can welcome them with, uh, with shout outs, you can guide them through the processes, you can provide tips and tricks and make any uh, material available um, that you have to train people. So with this new normal hybrid ways of working, really also rethink the way you train people and not just make it from in-person to virtual, really rethink and consider digital adoption for your software implementations and your digital transformation projects.